a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Over 400 years since his death, and Shakespeare is still a huge part of our culture. So why is there still doubt among many that Shakespeare's work can be relevant to our 21st century lives? Stephen Brown is an English professor whose many accolades include Fellow of the Society for Teaching and Learning in Higher Education. Today, he examines one of history's most famous writers to show us how resonant his words are for all of us, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. When Shakespeare was first performed, and for well over 200 years, when people wrote about going to plays, when they wrote about going to a Shakespeare play or any play, they would write in their diary, they would write in their commonplace book, last night I went and I heard Midsummer Night's Dream. Last night I went and I heard Hamlet. The play is about voice. And no one understood that more than Shakespeare did. We are there because it consoles us to hear a human voice. Because we want a voice to make the sounds of joy and sorrow for us. Because what matters in life is what we apprehend, what we seize, what seizes us. Those things that make us terrified, and those things that make us joyful. And theater brings us those. And Shakespeare, no more so. So it's curious, not tragic, just curious, that when students come to me in university, the majority of them say, oh, Shakespeare, I don't know. So I was so hard in high school. Some of them say, oh, I loved it, I loved it. Right? I said, what did you love about it? All oh, the movies. They're such great Shakespeare movies. And I have to say, well, no, 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 no. Shakespeare is not about watching a movie. There has to be a person there, a person who is enduring the story for us so that in witnessing it, we can be grasped and grasp in turn the emotions that are being experienced. Don't be afraid of Shakespeare. But most of them probably also use the no fear Shakespeare cribs, right? That translate Shakespeare into English, as if it wasn't English to begin with, right? When we shouldn't have feared them to begin with. Huh? I want to take a couple of scenes and I want to talk you through them. At the end of Hamlet, when all the sore plays going on and the poisoning and a dozen people are going to be dead on stage and it's going to be full of spectacle and it turns into a real guy flick, right? There's a chick moment in there that's powerful, and it's about mothers. Gertrude says, take my napkin, she says, and wipe your brow. You look so tired, right? At the beginning of the play, she had wanted to touch him, and he wouldn't let her touch him. He never lets her touch him in the play. He pulls away because he's angry at her for marrying his uncle, right? Just the way your mother, even when you're 62, like me, on a cold day, will tighten up your jacket or call you at university and say, is it snowing? Wear your mittens, right? When we don't listen in life, we miss the small things. In literature, listening is crucial to getting those things too. That's why Shakespeare matters. Not because we should read him, but because we should be listening to him. At the beginning of Hamlet, there's a man who's all alone on stage, Francisco, waiting to be relieved by Bernardo. He can be out there alone as long as the director wants to leave him there, saying nothing. Bernardo comes, and Bernardo says, who's there? Because it's dark. And Francisco says, nay, tell me, unfold yourself, he says. Open yourself up to me. And I say to you, unfold yourself when you read Shakespeare. Close the book, open yourself up, apprehend, and you won't worry about the meaning. Unfold 
listen, and allow life and literature to touch you. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Oshawa, Ontario. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx St. Mary CS School. Visit TED.com slash TEDx Shorts to listen to the full talk and learn more about TEDx Shorts. I'm Matusa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.